Hi guys and welcome back. My name is Mia from Mia Medicine and Laser Files and today I am going to show you how you can draw design elements directly in Lightburn. Christmas is upon us, so in this series I will show you how to draw Christmas trees, Christmas stars, snowflakes and everything else that you need for Christmas. The first thing you want to do is obviously to open up Lightburn. So I just did, and for those of you who are new to Lightburn, this is how it looks like. This grid area is my honeycomb bed or my laser, uh, my workspace for my laser. Whenever I design, I like to keep my designs on the white page. You do have all this space to make your designs, so you can make as many as you want and never run out of space. When I am designing, I like to go to Windows and choose Wireframe Smooth. Some of you are might in Filled Smooth, and when you are designing, that is a little problematic, because if I choose this and set it to Film, copy and paste, you might see how this is hard to see. So one easy way to fix that is to choose the view style via frame smooth. And now you are ready to design. I will start by naming this file as um, Christmas Doodles because these design elements are great to go back to whenever you are designing something new, so you don't have to start all over. Today, I will start by showing you how to draw a Christmas tree by using shapes, but also drawing it with lines. So the first thing you want to do is to go to your hexagon tool over here, sorry, polygon. You create a polygon by dragging with your mouse. If you hold down your shift key, it will make it perfect shaped. Once you've created your polygon, you go to select. And if you hold down your control or command key, if you're using a MacBook, I'm using a Windows computer, this little purple um, symbol will appear. If you drag it up, you can create more sides. If you drag it down with your mouse, you can create a triangle. The triangle is exactly what I want to use to build my Christmas tree. So now that I have a triangle, I will right click my mouse and I will choose duplicate. You can use the short keys over here, but I will try to avoid using them for the sake of this tutorial. So click duplicate, and you now have an additional triangle. You want to make this a little longer, sorry, bigger. So you will grab the corner and you can scale it up. Move it to somewhere where you want it to be. And again, right click and hit duplicate. You can repeat this for as many times as you want, but you will just basically be building your tree like this. Once you have the layers that you want, I do recommend that you uh, duplicate this because you will then always have a work file to get back to over here without having to start start all over. So once you have them, you mark all three, or four, or five, or how many you want, and align vCenter. Now they are aligned perfect. Then you hit Weld over here, and weld all selected shapes together. And you now have a Christmas tree. You can make it more narrow 
you can make it bigger, smaller, you can literally manipulate it however you want, but I think I'm satisfied with this. To add a little stem, you can create a square or rectangle, choose select and place it somewhere where you want it to be. Again, you will mark both. You can also mark by holding down your control or command key and click the objects. I'll align me center and I will wilt. If you think these um, edges are too sharp, you can duplicate and just move it to the side here. Then you can go to Offset Shapes and you can create as little or as big of a offset that you want until you are satisfied with the look. If you have this set to round, it will create round edges. You could also make corners. And if you wanted to be able to cut like an off uh, set of your design, this is also the way that you create this. I will pick round because I just want the solid shape. So I will move this over here. And now I have two different designs of the same tree. Another thing that you can do is to click your tree and go to edit notes. Now you can manipulate all your lines. So if you want it to be a little more natural looking, you can do that by just dragging the notes and make them exactly as you want. I want my stem to be a little more natural looking. So I'll just grab my corners like this. If you hold down control, you will get this um, view thing. And that might be easier for you if you want it to be somewhere symmetrical. You can also drag your lines to curve them just a little bit like this. And if you want, you can drag these um, long things here to curve it even more. I might want to make a little details here as well. So instead of looking like a triangular tree, you now have it a little more curved and natural looking. And again, if you want, you could duplicate this. And you could choose the offset to make it a little more rounded. I will delete original objects on this one. So that's really it, you guys. It's really easy to build your own Christmas trees this way. I do have an alternative way to do it if you want to draw with lines uh, and make it look like it's a little more of symmetry and uh, hand draw looking. So to do that, and this is honestly my least favorite way of drawing in Lightburn. I do love to do it in full create, but I will show you how. So if you grab your pencil tool up here, you can draw lines. If you just click once with your uh, mouse, you have attached the line. To make your line curved, instead of clicking here, you will Hold down your key, or oh, sorry, your mouse button, and then this symbol will appear. And you can now curve your uh, drawing, release, and you can see that it made this little curve instead of a pointy line. So I just go 
to where I want my line to end. Click it and then I can go down here where I want it to be next. I will click it and again I'll hold down. That's wrong. You don't want to click it there. Let's just hit escape and do this again. So there you go. So you click it. No, you don't click it here. <laughs> you hold down, sorry. Yeah, mouse, it's a lot easier to just do than explain. And then you click it when you have the next point. Again, you go down here and instead of clicking, you hold down your mouse button and you can continue with this until you are satisfied with the look of your tree. This does take a little practice and as I said, this is not my favorite way of doing it. I'll just make these real click, quick to show you how. Um, and don't worry about these because you can go in and fix them. Once you have your drawing, make sure that you attach to the original point and click it. So now these are connected and now I can go in with my edit tool and for everything that didn't look right, I can remove my notes or change my notes and make it a little more like I would like it to be. So this does take a bit of experience and I honestly like to um, draw more using Procreate for something like this than using Lightburn. But it is possible uh, and I'll just leave it here and you can play around with it. But this is another way of doing it. So I really, really hope that you learned a little bit about how you can draw your own uh, trees using Lightburn. Uh, I draw or use Lightburn to draw everything that I make. I've made around 700 uh, files so far. Um, so play around with it. If you want to have me show you anything else, please drop a comment below. I will be making a series of tutorials on how to draw um, Christmas objects. Tomorrow I will show you how you draw a star. So if you want to watch that tutorial, please subscribe, give this a like, and also play some comments about what you think and how this works out for you. And I hope to see you soon.